Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to our free to play series in Last and Earth Survival. Today we are gonna progress even further through the story, aka the survivor's path. All we have to do is finish building the barracks. And in order to build these barracks, we have to get four more screws, and we can get those screws inside of the motel. I think I have to mention that it's very important that you unlock the settlement, because here you'll be able to get some free daily loot. So that's what I want to unlock. We have also assembled our chopper, so hopefully today we'll get one of the best events in the game, which is the rest stop event. And sadly, this is not the rest stop event this is the junkyard event in order to go there you have to have a chopper that's at level 40 you can upgrade your chopper at the gas station and sadly the junkyard event isn't as good compared to the rest stop event and hey we came to the motel and we still have this bike okay because we we're doing the story and rachel left her bike here so i'm kind of curious will this bike stay forever because usually this bike never stayed here before we're gonna check the motel a little bit later first of all i want to get those screws hopefully we'll get four screws here because i think there is a slight chance that sometimes you don't get any screws my day is gonna be ruined if I don't get any screws today. Hey, let's hop inside of the basement. All right, let's start sneaking and let's clear this place. It shouldn't be that hard. It's a relatively easy place to clear. Maybe I should have brought a different weapon. Well, luckily I did bring here a shovel. Hopefully that is going to be enough. And just as always, I don't leave my base without a Glock. Some people always like to store their weapons at the base. They just like to save them. They never use them. And here in these series, I always try to encourage people to, hey, bring a Glock with you. It's fine. You never know what is going to happen. It is always nice to have a Gun here. Okay, we're gonna deal with this fast rotter real quick. And here we have a bunch of other stupid zombies. Okay, let's start healing. I keep forgetting that we have this self-healing perk. So there we go. Let's activate that self-healing perk. It is very nice. Once you get that self-healing perk, make sure to use it. As it will save a couple of first aid kits here and there. Just don't forget to activate it because I often forget about it. Okay, so inside of the shelf, we've got uh, some jerky. I've got a little bit of rubber parts. I will get those. And here we have some more fast biters. Sadly, I wasn't able to sneak fast enough. Okay, we got a toxic spitter. I don't even know if they can spit in the basements because usually toxic spitters can spit all oh, they can spit here they can well now i know i'm gonna stink oh my goodness oh lord okay i'm probably gonna get a glock again you shouldn't be you don't really have to use it i'm just taking it out because my armor is ready here right now and that's why i wanted to go and get it uh probably that was stupid in any case i brought a glock here and i used it okay we have gotten a little bit of rope maybe i'm gonna bring that stuff back to the base because why not oh that's that a lot of zombies are here and i still have no idea why on earth rachel is here Rachel already went back to her base. It makes no sense that she's here. What is going on? She said that she went to the abandoned factory. Because I had to have 10 of those things. Whatever. Why are you here? Uh, in any case, she's gonna deal with this toxic abomination. My armor is about to break. I don't like it. Plus, we've just leveled up. How about I get this strict diet? Oh my goodness. That's a lot of schmucks here. So yeah, something's going on. That's not what was supposed to happen. Okay, there we go. There's this floater bloater. Let's pop it. I'm glad that I brought this Glock. And what about Rachel? Return to the settlement. I have no idea why she's here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be fixed in the future as that's not what was supposed to happen. In any case, please give me some, some screws here. There we go. We've got six more screws, baby. That's why we came here. Let's get some duct tape as well. You know what? Maybe I'm going to take this thing. I don't think we needed to upgrade our truck. But I'll take it. I don't remember. I'm gonna take it. That is it. Now we can leave this place peacefully. There was one more room that we could have looted, but it's not really worth it. So I'm just gonna leave it. So I kind of want to check out the motel, but I got no armor. Like, literally zero. Do I have any melee weapons inside of the inbox? Like, something. We do have a slasher. We do have a machete. I kind of don't want to waste those weapons. And we have a cleaver. There we go. Let's get that cleaver and let's perhaps kill a few zombies last time during this event when jane was here or whatever her name is rachel so when rachel was here yeah there's blood they're freshly killed zombies yeah i'm pretty sure as soon as i kill these schmucks the thing will open up and a bunch of zombies will attack me and there will be a zombie that has 500 health and i'm not even gonna bother fighting it so yeah something happened with the motel here it's not supposed to be like that maybe it'll progress further once we get done with the settlement here once we build all those barracks, I mean, let's do this. And there we go. Now, a bunch of those other schmucks have spawned here, okay? Apparently, I can't loot anything else here. And that's why her chopper is here. Because last time, I've already cleared the motel. And apparently, her chopper is still here. We are back in the settlement. I should have probably went back to my main base to get some sort of armor. But whatever. I'm gonna finish this. Let's finalize that. And there we go. The mission is complete. And now we have to go to the factory. Do I have to do anything? It would be nice to set up an antenna on the roof of the center. I heard they can be found at the factory. So, okay. 
probably we have to go to the factory because here we can start building these headquarters and to build the headquarters we need two of these antennas plus we need a bunch of other resources we should have most of those things already at the base however i'm excited to go to the abandoned factory now let's go to equipment and it looks like we got here two tactical sets do i really want to use that tactical set eh, why not we have it i might as well just use it there we go i don't have to craft any tactical sets myself and before we go anywhere else it looks like we have a lot of blueprints inside of the inbox probably from all the seasons so how about we get all of these blueprints and let's read them. Let's see what kind of goods we can get here. We've gotten this tin can with nails. I can probably learn all of them. Again, you don't have to learn all the blueprints. You can just bring garbage blueprints to the specialist at Bunker Alpha and maybe you'll get something better, but I'm not really going to bother with that. I'll just read probably everything. We've gotten the spiked pointer. We already have it. We've gotten this muzzle brake modified. Let's get this mod and we have this muzzle brake for the shotgun. And we have gotten an event. Please tell me this is the rest up event. Uh, yes, it is. It is the rest up event. So let's up on the chopper for the rest up event. Maybe I could bring some bandages, but hey, that's fine. And before we go to the rest up event, let's take a few canisters with gasoline. I think maybe three of them is going to be enough because over here I can refuel my own bike and now I'll be able to use these empty canisters to refuel my chopper from that rest up event. Alrighty, let's drive here. I'm sure we're going to use up a little bit of fuel, but hey, that's fine. It is 100% worth it. Also, you didn't really have to use all of your fuel. You could just run to the motel and then you can drive to the rest up event. That way you could save a little bit of fuel, but hey, whatever. How about we get this Glock? I know that it's in full durability. We had a broken one, but whatever. Let's deal with this survivor. And now we'll have a few more survivors coming after us. Well, they're doing a lot of damage. Well, I'm just gonna soak up all of that damage here. It is fine. We have one more survivor and... There we go, that's it. This is the entire rest up event. We did use up uh, how many, like 11 carrot stews, but hey, that's fine. It, it was worth it. It is going to be worth it because even the worst rest up event already has some nice resources. So let's take everything. Sadly, these survivors gave us almost nothing. Well, hopefully these choppers have better loot. Oh, and we've gotten a pretty nice rest up event. There are no zombies. Sometimes there are like a bunch of zombies. You can just lure them all the way to the bottom and then go all the way to the top. Check this out. We have already gotten a machete. That's already profit. Just this machete is already profit in my opinion because we've used up like what? 20% of our Glock. It's already profit. Plus we've gotten the SWAT body armor. We have gotten some aluminum and that's not it. We're still going to get even more loot. So let's loot this duffel bag and show me. What do we have inside of this duffel bag? We have gotten some iron ore. I'm probably going to get everything. Why not? I'll just bring all of that stuff back to the base. Like, all of those resources will be valuable for us. Plus, check this out. Here we've gotten a full durability Glock. Plus, it's a modded Glock. And we've gotten some black paint and gas masks. That's great. I'm going to bring all this stuff back to the base. For those who don't know, you can use a gas mask in order to open up a special room inside of a bunker alpha. Loot there isn't that great. It's just like, eh. So I usually never bother with it. However, we're going to drop a bunch of things. Oh, we can only drop two things. I want to say we, we're going to drop a bunch of things. I can't drop anything there. How about I hop on my chopper and I get a little bit closer to those bikes there. It'll be a lot easier to siphon the fuel. How about I go here? There we go. We've gotten one can only. There we go. I can probably get the rest of my cans. And do we have anything else here? Yes, Cindy, we can get one more can. If I had an empty bottle, maybe I could, like, take one bottle worth of fuel there, but I'm not really going to bother with it. We've gotten just some more fuel here. This is beautiful. I went back to the base in order to drop off some of my resources. I've also just talked to the dealer. We've gotten here 100 experience buff. So let's take that and let's go to the abandoned factory. Here is a fun fact. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know that, but to those that don't know, and if you've just started playing Last Earth Survival, before we used to have here a red forest location. Like here we have green, yellow, and and stone locations. We also used to have three forest locations, a green, yellow, and a red forest location, but for some reason they have removed it and they've added this abandoned factory instead. Abandoned factory is just a medium place as it doesn't have that great. Well, did Connor send you again? Fine. We have to find an antenna. The gates won't open. There's no power. Will you help? Okay, so we are absolutely going to activate that because I've already taken here a bunch of transistors. So before you come to this place, make sure to get like, I know I took a stack of transistors, maybe like 12 or 15 of them should be enough. I just wanted to get more because why not? Here we've gotten another melee weapon. I will take that. Plus take all of these transistors. Maybe you don't even have to bring any transistors with you from the base as you can find some of them here. But in any case, I got an entire stack. Great, the entrance is over there. Follow me. I'm definitely going to go and follow her. Maybe she's going to go and deal with them. She has a Glock here, so she's going to deal with all of these schmucks. She saw another zombie there in the bush that I didn't even see. Won't open. There's not enough power. Look for another electrical panel. 
Okay, we are absolutely going to do that. Okay, there's another chest, but I'm pretty sure it requires a level 3 burglar park. Burglar skill, whatever you want to call it, and I still don't have it. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to stink very soon if I don't dodge all of these spits. Stop it. There we go. I dodged it. I dodged it. You can't spit at me again. I'm going to dodge all of them schmuck. Haven't taken a shower in a while here in this game, and I don't want to go and take it right now. Okay, there's a deer. Oh, my goodness. I should have probably killed it as I could have gotten three meat. There we go. Let's get that. I'm going to bring it back to the base. Let's also get a little bit of leather. But hey, once we run out of space, I might just drop that one leather. And now going back to the topic of the abandoned factory. This place is just a medium place. It doesn't have that great loot. It's only useful for the very beginning when you need to get like those three antennas or actually two antennas and whatnot. To be honest, you'll need more of these antennas for other buildings in the game at the settlement, but that's it. The abandoned factory doesn't really give any insane resources here. Okay, so the thing opened up. Get over here. I got enough fire for all of you. And there we go. She's going to use that flamethrower to deal with them. Well, I just love that. I don't have to do anything. She is going to deal with all of them. Is she going to burn me? Oh, whoa! She burns me with that! I just wanted to see if that will work. It does work! Rachel, stop it! Friendly fire was on apparently. Okay, I didn't know that she can actually burn us. I've done this event now already a couple of times through all of the different accounts, through my main account, through my other free-to-play accounts. And hey, it's the first time I see that she can actually burn us, that she can actually damage us. However, I'm gonna forgive her. We're gonna continue. Okay, so what did she say? There has to be an antenna in the chest, but we can't open it because of the gas. Yeah, the uh, antenna is not in these chests, but okay. I have to teach her everything apparently. Will she help me out? Wait, can I bring these guys all the way up here? Maybe she'll start shooting them. There we go. Just get them. We don't really need that extra experience from her. I might as well just save some of my melee weapons and that is it. Okay, there we go. Let's deal with that schmuck. And I think we can activate this thing. I can probably loot the shelf. And what do we have? Roasted turkey and plus five mushrooms. I'm just going to eat them right now. I'm not even going to bother bringing that stuff back to the base. And how about I open this thing up and there are a few toxic spitters okay i'm gonna dodge them and i will bring these toxic spitter here to her okay she's gonna deal with them that way i didn't have to do anything myself and there's only one more thing left for us to do i need to activate this can i open up the door yes i can okay let's deal with this silly fast biter can i activate this panel nope and i think that is it we can open up the box i'm pretty sure antenna's not gonna be here and then she's gonna be like oh we gotta go in the basement yep exactly Follow Rachel. Crab the... In There's no antenna. Try to look for it in the basement. Okay, how about we get this strict diet perk? No way through. We have to clear this blockage. Okay, will she destroy it? Clear out the blockage. We need a shovel. Did I bring a shovel with me? Does this game have a shovel somewhere? Before, we didn't have to have a shovel here. I'm almost positive about it. Please, somebody correct me that in the comments down below. But I'm almost certain we did not have to have a shovel here. Uh, maybe there is also a shovel. Maybe I don't have to go back to the base and bring it. Then maybe, okay, then it's been like this. I somewhat something remain, remember something vaguely. I think it's always been like that, okay? So we always had to maybe clear out that place with a shovel. If I find a shovel where I think... I can find it, then yes, I've already found that shovel before. Okay, nothing here. So the shovel's gonna be in the top left spot, probably. Unless I am um, completely getting bamboozled. I don't think I explained it, but I hear I've used some more of these transistors and I was able to unlock that chest here. Sometimes it's worth it. That's why I have unlocked it. And hey, perhaps here we can find a shovel. There we go. There's a shovel. I knew it. Okay, so yes, we've already had this event before then. Okay, cool. We've had this event. We have had this event. How about I get rid of things that I don't need? Let's craft some bandages. And how about we get rid of, I don't know, like one bolt. Who cares about it? And let's take this. There we go. I think I can stack now these transistors. We even have more space in the inventory. And that is it. Let's clear out that blockage because we have a shovel. I don't think we need anything else. Wait, can it work with that shovel in my hand? Oh, I do have to have a shovel. Bruh. I have a shovel! What do you mean, a handy tool? I have a shovel, you idiot! You donut, I have a shovel! Okay, let's try to do it. I just re-entered the location. I went back to the base. I came back here again. 
Yes, that worked! Finally! Check everything downstairs. I'll keep the watch here. Okay, let's go down here in the abandoned factory. I already thought that that's it. I was already ready to give up. I already had like the whole speech prepared that that's it, guys. We can't do the abandoned factory. I thought I'll have to wait for two days until it reset. And if it doesn't work again, I'll have to contact support. For those who don't know how to contact support, you can go to the settings and click support here. You can message them. So I was already ready to message them in order to fix that bug because that's what you kind of got to do. But, oof, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. It kind of works. There was some sort of a glitch, but somehow, some way, it got fixed on its own. All I had to do is just go back to my base and come back here. And that worked out. Okay, let's see if we can do anything here. Can I disable that? There we go. Electricity turned off. I can probably go now from this side. No, the still not enough energy. Understandable. How about I go further then? Through over here, let's open it up and hey, let's deal with these floater bloaters and other dudes. I brought a Glock here. So maybe I should use a Glock, maybe later. Whatever, let's deal with our first ever abandoned factory. Let's put that floater bloater to sleep. How about we activate that and there we go. We shouldn't have any more gas here. That's beautiful. Wait, why am I getting damage when there's no gas? There's no more gas here. Stop it. Stop complaining. Okay, let's get some more rope. And, uh, yeah, let's get some more healing items. I should probably farm a bit more off camera. I would like to get some more healing items. How about I get this thing and I try to wall trick these guys. Okay, I'm gonna let them come just a little bit, a little bit closer. Okay, and let's try to wall trick them just little by little. Actually, it's like a wall trick door trick at this point. There we go. One of these floater bloaters is dead. The second floater bloater is dead as well. Beautiful. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Okay, we still cannot loot that chest because, as you can see, there's a lot of electricity there. We can open it up a little bit later. I'm gonna open up this door. Um, can I activate this? Uh, yes, that worked. How about I open... Okay, cannot click on anything there. We got another floater bloater. Wait, I can probably just deal with it with this machete real quick. That way I don't have to wall trick or do anything. Because machetes are really nice. When you have machetes, you don't really have to wall trick as you are outputting a lot of damage per second. So you can just soak up a little bit of that damage and that's fine. Whoa, I have already damaged all of my tactical armor. Unbelievable. Whoa, I'm actually surprised. I thought it'll last a bit longer. In any case, let's craft another bandage. I think I can take this generator. Yeah, yeah, I'll be able to get that generator and I'll be able to put it here to open up the door. And I think here we should get a, a thingy, whatever that's called, the antenna. There we go. We have found it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for the antenna. Thank you, thank you. Now we can leave this place. Except before we do anything, we got to talk to Rachel again. Hopefully she doesn't mess, mess things up here again. I don't want any quests to bug. I don't want to have any glitches, any bugs here. I just want to do it safely. I just want to progress through that survivor's path properly. Okay. Do I need this Bravo card? I'll get it. I think at level 75, we can unlock Bunker Bravo, which is kind of weird. At level 75, you can unlock Bunker Bravo, but you can start crafting your ATV at level 74. Where is it? There we go. There's the ATV, and you can go there at level 74, unless I'm mistaken. But yeah, I think you can only unlock Bunker Bravo at level 75. I think the, this electricity is off now. And we can go and loot this place. Like, whatever I get here, I'll probably take everything. Yeah, why not? Let's get it. Except that water. We already have a lot of water at the base. It's annoying that water makes you pee. So I usually avoid drinking it here. It makes no sense to drink it. Okay, what will Rachel say now? Got it, great. Connor will be thrilled. Okay, we gotta go back to the settlement. Except we only have one antenna. We need a second one. Okay, we'll see. Plus here we've opened up one more box. Let's see, what do we have here? Just some more wirings and... Some more random stuff. All right, let's get back to the settlement and let's start building some whatever other things. I think we'll just need to get one more antenna in order to finish building the headquarters, if those are even the headquarters. And hey, Connor, where are you? There we go. There's there's Connor. Finish building the headquarters. Oh, that's it. That's the quest. I can't even talk to this dude. I just have to drop the antenna and that is it. I need one more antenna and a bunch of other resources. So I was just going through my inbox searching for some resources and I found these three infinite packs. How about I open them up? Maybe we'll find something useful here. I mean, we can only get armor. So let's get something plus we've gotten a new bike style. And we've got an, another backpack and some pants. And we are almost ready to finish building the headquarters. Let's drop everything here. All I need is just one more antenna and I don't have enough planks and iron at the base. And now let's do something awesome. Let's loot this airdrop. Why not get some more free melee weapons? There we go. We've got 
and the saw blade mace. We've gotten some more planks and a bunch of other random resources. Let's just take them. And check this out. We've gotten our second crash plane event. I've been getting out this event for a really long time. I think I've gotten it already three or four, maybe even five times, but I've just never went there as I never had any energy. But now we have the chopper, so we can do that. So I made a quick stop at the base. I dropped everything. I did bring some food and this broken paddle because why not? And hey, let's loot our second crashed plane event. And as I said, you will probably keep getting this crashed plane event until you loot it. I never had enough energy, so... Now I have it and we can finally start looting. It's it's way overdue. I was supposed to be here a long time ago, but right now at least we have a bit better backpack. We have this military backpack so I can store a lot more items here. And I think I'm gonna bring probably everything back to the base. Why not? We will require probably mostly everything. I'm not gonna, however, take these watches. You need those watches and those gold bars in order to trade with traders. Actually just one trader as there's only one trader in the game and he's not really that great. So I'm not really gonna bother about it. You can bring these phones back to the base you can recycle them we can get electronic circuits from it so maybe i'll take it but once i run out of space i will drop it okay we have gotten some more armor some more random resources however i'm not taking that bottle of water that is the last thing i need and if i'm not mistaken there has to be a wolf attacking us i'm not really sure why we were not attacked by that wolf oh yet maybe it's not in this rest up event maybe the previous rest up event used to be like that and by the previous rest up event i mean a rest up event that we used to get like maybe four or five years ago I don't know. Ooh, here we've gotten a free crowbar. I am going to bring that stuff back to the base. We've gotten a metal pipe, some leather, some duct tape. Okay, it would be nice to get these crashed plane events. I don't know, maybe once a month, like a monthly event or something would be great, I guess. It does have some decent loot for newcomers. Like I am getting three melee weapons here. Like what else do I want, right? It's not that bad. Obviously, once you hit like level 150, level 200, like this loot isn't going to be that great. Actually, it'll be still great. Like we're getting a Glock. Like the, the loot will always be great here, probably no matter what level you are. Just like these melee weapons are already worth it. So yeah, it would be cool to get this event like once a week, once a month. I'd like that. Why not? Let's get here some more random garbage. I'm going to bring this another mobile phone. And I think we are almost done with this rest up event. I don't need that. However, I am going to take this beer. I think it might be useful doing like some sort of an event or maybe no. I don't know. In any case, we've got another hat that I don't need and some other garbage. And I think that is it. We haven't gotten any extra chests anywhere else. So this was another crashed plane event. An amazing crashed plane event. And at the same time, I get it. How many airplanes can crash here? You know, if an airplane crashes like once a month here in this game, like... Why? I mean, it's an apocalypse, right? It's not like there are a lot of people. So why would these airplanes keep crashing? So maybe it makes sense that you only get two of these crashed plane events and that's it. Then they never respawn again. And now welcome to Bunker Alpha. I had some spare green coupons. I had actually 40 of them. So I just took 20 just so that I can go and open up one green box here. I still have that fingerprint at the base. I have totally forgotten to bring that fingerprint here to open up a box there, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's open this thing up. Basically for free. I mean, we have cleared Bunker Alpha last time, but hey, we're going to get this loot without actually grinding right now or doing anything. I'm going to probably bring everything back to the base, except that paint. I don't really need it. There we go. Just like that, we have gotten a decent amount of free loot. And now welcome to the police department. We had four brown cards. So how about we open them up? There you go. Let's just do it. And just like that, we're going to get some free loot. We've gotten this golf club, which isn't the best melee weapon, but I, I'm going to take it. Here we've gotten another golf club. I'll take that. Some batteries, whatever. And a crowbar, which is a decent melee weapon. I want it. Thank you very much. And there we go. Just like that, we had some spare cards and I was able to get decent loot from that bunker alpha from the police department. We are very close to finishing the headquarters. Then we need to build a few more buildings and then we can unlock the expeditions. Then we can start getting that daily loot. But but we're going to start working towards all of that in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you checking out my Days Gone Let's Play. Click here on the second card and you'll get on my previous last generation survival Let's Play. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And see you in the next one.